Hello, it's me, John Doe, right here in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Kind of in a um, relaxing little uh, roof park. You may not, may or may not ever experience one of those. It's basically a nice little peaceful park on top of a damn building, right? So, before we get started, take a look there. Very nice. Little thing, all right? So, of course, today is May Day, International Workers' Day, and also kind of a uh, international holiday for socialists and communists all over the world. You're going to see a lot of demonstrations and protest and solidarity actions showing up on the internet like that, you know. But I decided for my what I want to say this year on May Day to find me a nice peaceful location instead of running around looking for some type of action to be involved in. Because I want to kind of talk about something that is a problem. Solidarity. Before we do that, a toast to the workers of the world. Now, on my second channel, the side channel, I put up a video a while back talking about solidarity and how to show solidarity and things like that. But I think here on May Day, it's a good time to talk about another side to solidarity. It's getting to know people. And not for any type of personal agenda or trying to influence them. But to really get to know each other. Connect as human beings. Because that is one of the ways that kind of breaks down capitalist control. You see, as long as we are separated, and fighting, and extremely competing against each other for whatever reasons or whatever goal, that keeps us divided. It was to the advantage of capitalists and capitalism that we don't really know each other. That things remain very impersonal. Makes it easier. You know, I see a lot of times, you know, even amongst um, organized workers, they don't really make an effort to actually really know each other and connect with each other. And it's so key and important, you know. You can disagree with me on whatever, whatever. It's fine. But until you know me, until I know you, how can we really communicate? How can we say we really understand each other? And then this refusal to get to know each other that really troubles me. A lot. Really, really troubles me. You know, you hear someone say something or make a statement. And you don't understand that. You don't want to understand that. So you want to be against that person, hate that person. Without really taking the time to get to know that person. And I see that a lot amongst my fellow workers, my fellow organized workers. You know, you just want to continue to be a victim of social alienation. You know, you just want to play games, play identity politics and personal agenda with each other all the time. You do realize that's not going to get it done. Ultimately, that's not going to get it done. We have to know each other. That makes solidarity far more material. Far more personal and emotional. And real. And far more powerful. But it may be hard for some people to understand, you know. I, I get that. 
we live in a, especially us who live in a highly capitalized society, it's hard for a lot of people to understand that you've got to make a human connection with each other. And I see a lot of people do that to me. Here in the real world, you know. Just absolute refusal to really understand me. To really get to know me. Get to know the point of view I'm coming from. Based on my own life experience. Because as we know, that's where correct ideas come from. It's from life experience. You know, just have metaphysical ideas in your head. Doesn't make them real. It doesn't make your ideas true. You know? You have to get to know each other. And I'm really saddened that people have this refusal. You know, they... <coughs> Pardon me? <coughs> people just, you know, want to stick to themselves. It's only their agenda. You know, instead of looking at everyone's agenda and finding things that are common. <laughs> Find things that are common with each other and start to understand that our struggles are often very, very similar. And this division, you know, really also prevents us from openly communicating with each other and hashing out differences and ideas and discovering that, you know what, the vast majority of us have the same idea. So that's my message here on May Day. Really get to know each other. Really try to understand each other. Communicate. Talk. Don't play this game anymore. It's getting old. It's getting tiresome. It's not cute anymore. It's not funny. That really is something to think about. Yeah. So, you know what? Let's end on a really bright, cool note, right? So, to the comrades internationally, to all workers, happy fucking May Day. Oh. It's me, John Doe, in Tokyo as always. Check it out. <laughs>